This was my baby Krista before she was shaken by her biological father at just three months old. She was a happy and healthy little girl before all of that happened. Her biological father and I were separated and this is a photo of her before he picked her up to keep her overnight by himself. The next photo shows what she looked like by the next morning. We both had to work, so he dropped her off with my sister that morning, and this is how she looked. He told her he put a hat on her because she was cold, but this was in the middle of May. In the moment, no one knew what was wrong with her except him, and so an ambulance was called by my sister and mom. Now, I know what this photo shows, and you can see that her eye is drooping, and that was because she laid there all night having seizures and a stroke. She was cold because her temperature had dropped to the low 90s. She had spots on her face due to the lack of oxygen to her brain. Krista made it to the hospital and coded, where she lost almost all of her brain function. She did survive, and we spent about a month in the hospital. All of this caused her to have very severe disabilities, and Krista lived for about three and a half years before passing away due to her initial injury. I share her story to spread awareness about shaken baby syndrome and also to warn others to be careful who you have children with. There were red flags that I look back now and I can see, but I was too naive in the moment to see them. If you're in a toxic relationship, and the person is abusive to you in any way, leave that relationship. You don't want to wait until it's too late. Like I did.